Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are checking out the all new Axiom Pitch. As well as the new Axiom Eclipse Crave. Let's get into it. That is right, today we are checking out the all new Axiom Pitch and the Total Eclipse Plastic. So don't know if this is quite like a prototype or if this is just gonna be their first initial release as well as the Eclipse Crave, which pretty interested in. I haven't thrown a Crave in quite some time and I know typically sometimes in their Eclipse Plastic, they tend to be a little bit more stable. Flight numbers on this is six and a half, five, negative one, one, so a very neutral disc. And then obviously we have the pitch that is similar to MVP's glitch. It's just Axiom's version of the glitch and they named it the pitch. Bruh. Come on, that was a strike. Pretty interested with the pitch because this one is 158 grams, closing in on 160. So it feels a little bit heavier than the glitches I've thrown. And the Crave, I think, is just a 174. Now, these will be available this coming up Friday, April 5th, at your local retailers. I want to give a big shout out to Basket Case, which is my local retailer. They will have these available Friday, April 5th. And another big shout out to MVP for letting us get early access to see how these fly and get a good disc review for you guys. So let's get to the course. Let's put them to the test. We're going to start here at hole one. Par three, 310 feet. Gonna go with the Crave just to get a feel for it. I highly doubt I'm gonna get a pitch there even though it does have seven glide, but we're still gonna try our little hearts out. Crave up first. Oh, that flipped right up to flat. Little nose up, first throw of the day. That's there. Now we're gonna pump on the Axiom Pitch. Gonna be very hard not to call it a glitch. So I just need to say pitch, pitch, like Randy Johnson. Oh, see you later, alligator. We're just gonna smoke that on Anheuser and let it glide all the way over there. We're here at hole three, 220 feet. Let's try to get an ace with the pitch. Now I'll take either or, whether it's the pitch or the crave, hopefully it's the pitch, right into the basket. Throw it hard on Heiser, see if it can handle the torque. That thing can handle the torque. I kind of just floated on Heiser the entire way up there. All right, Crave, very, very short hole for the Crave. Try to throw a little nose up, just let it stall in the basket. Oh, I threw it too hard for what I wanted to do. Ace attempts, pretty terrible, but with the disc like the pitch, pretty fun. These things do have some glow. I do believe mine, I don't know if they come in different colors, as far as like the glow, but mine glows blue and with the sun going down, we might be able to show that for you. And if not, here is a video of what these things look like when they're glowing. And action. Hole five, par three, 360 feet in my dreams with the pitch. Unless I was Simon Lazat. But I'm gonna show you how the pitch and the Crave handle a narrow fairway. I mean, I gotta give myself some credit. That was probably at least 287. We're gonna try the Crave on a Heiser flip. I've kind of just been throwing it on a baby Heiser and it's been turning over for me. So we're gonna hit this on some Heiser. See how this thing reacts. That thing. Now, that shot, that's on me. However, the flight on that disc was sick. That would be my reaction if I toss this in. Nope. That's still my reaction 
after that shot. Another ace opportunity with the pitch, 270 feet, yeah! Or just put on Anheuser straight. Just flip up and keep riding straight. Forehand, me with the Crave? Say less. Can handle the torque on a forehand. That's what's pretty good. Amazing. Taylor is now going to demonstrate with precision and accuracy on how to properly execute throwing the pitch and Crave in the woods down a narrow fairway. Wow, he's good and good looking. I take everything back that I just said. Unfortunately, we have reached the end of the journey. Last hole, 330 feet, par three. This thing has been a tremendous amount of fun. For whatever reason, this feels a little bit heavier than a glitch, but maybe because I haven't thrown a glitch that was close to 160 grams, but I honestly like the way this one feels. Uh, it almost feels not as deep as the glitch, even though I'm pretty sure it's the same exact thing, but I prefer the pitch over the glitch. One big throw. Well, we tried to give it the beans. Instead, we gave it the broccoli. But how cool would a redemption shot with the Crave for an ace be? about 30 short. All right, guys, that is going to do it for a quick little review of the new Axiom Pitch and the new Axiom Eclipse Crave. Again, this is in the Total Eclipse plastic with the little ooh-ah guy looking at the solar eclipse or lunar eclipse, whatever eclipse he wants that to be. He's got sunglasses on, so it's probably a solar. And then you got the little Crave monster here. These are some really cool stamps, guys. Again, these are going to be available this Friday, April 5th, Pick them up at your local retailer, or if you guys are in the Tulsa area, Basket Case is going to have an abundance of these. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Pick some of these up because these discs are a whole lot of fun. And until the next time, we'll catch you guys later. I mean, that's just what the pitch does.